Bye, Rhonda. Dollar house. Today on the Matt Dollar Show, me and my wife Rhonda are headed out to where my dad's family was raised in a place called Dollar Holler. Our name, as you know, is Dollar, and they actually named a place out here Dollar Holler where they all lived. Also, there's a big cave there called Dollar Cave. It's been unexplored or anything for about 40 years, so we're going to check it out and see what we can find. There is all of our metal detecting gear, pinpointer, metal detectors, shovels, handhelds, everything that we need today, and maybe we'll find some treasure. Anything I find will definitely be from my ancestors, so I'm excited. This is Ronnie Leonard. I'm fixing to take Matt down in Dollar Holler, where his daddy was born and raised up at. He's been down in there about 50 years. Then we're going to look in Dollar Cave, see if there's any bobcats in it. <laughs> this is where we're going, and we're going to have a good time, and I appreciate Ronnie and his family. His dad's name was Jab, and this is him and his mom. They were good friends of my grandparents. There's some more of his family. And here's a really old picture from back in the day. Oh, yeah. And we're ready to explore. So thank you. See you there. Right through here used to be several uh, apple trees in a row. But see, since I've been through all these trees right here, they come up and grow up here. Wow. And see, my dad said that my granddad had built a road back through here. This is probably it. No, uh, yeah. back when I was little, I was little, I was saying, you know, uh, on the other side of the shack, it was a rough road that circled all the way down. We went down to our all the way to it, but Lord, it's grown up in trees now. So that's probably where you're going to have to This is Dollar Holler. Yeah. Just a bite for one of those houses, huh? All right. That Dollar Cave laid on the right of that hollow there, up on the hillside, Dollar Cave. The Dollar Cave is right up on that ridge. Now, we just have to find it. We're going to look for the cow first. For the what? We're going to look for their house first. Oh, yeah. If you get snake bit, you got about, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. And this was here last time I was here. And how long ago was that? 39 years. Wow. And I'm saying it again. I think we here probably. That's an 50, old fender, man. Fender 50, when you might, you know? Yeah. Uh-uh. I've never time the rain, the water comes down through here. So when I was growing up, you know, uh, <clears throat> this old hill and everything was dry. No springs or nothing. Me and my sister had to go over our first winters in the bottom and, and had tarry water for a long way. You know? Really? 
here back then. We can find the tuna. Quite right. What can you do? Possible cave location. Tune in. Did you find it? Yeah. Found the cave. Oh, it's steep, huh? Yeah, it's steep. Bless your heart. We're making our way. It's awful steep. That's where I'm at. I will. I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? Now, your house was across from it, right? Yeah, I'll go find it now. Dollar Cave. Here we are. Me and Ronnie found the cave. Oh. It's right down in this hole. This tree right here, 39 years ago, my dad hooked a rope around it and lowered me down in this cave. It's been 50 years since I've been here. And we're back. <laughs> Bring your camera up here and look down in this cave. And I'm almost positive there's something alive living in there. So we're not going in the cave today, but we are going to come back with ropes and lights and see what's there. Because when my dad took me down in there 39 years ago, there's an opening in the back. There's a hole you crawl through, and then it gets wider to a big opening. And then there was a ladder made out of logs, and then a wooden bed had been built down in this cave. And like he said, he hadn't been here in 50 years. Yeah. So it had to be early settlers or something had built that or Indians. I say Indians, would you? Yeah. So this is Dollar Cave, and I'm very proud of it, even though it's in the middle of nowhere <laughs> in a top secret location. Uh, <clears throat> My great aunt, my great aunt. Look, come here, Ronnie. There's the driveway. Oh, right there. Yeah. There we go. Look, there's all my half off and I'm picking up the yard. <laughs> then he used to bust at me. <laughs> Throwing my toys down. The and driveway look to there's the homestead. So we're in Dollar Holler um, at Matt's family's old homestead. And as you can see, it is literally in the middle of nowhere. This is what's all around us. How amazing it must have been. All right, here's something I found. A little lid, and it says... Uh, Fleecy's new cap won't rust or break. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to keep it, and that's my first find. Found it right here, and right there was my dad's house. But Rhonda said she had found a piece of an old clock or something. Let's see it. You could see the wheel under my... Okay, he said you found a piece of a clock. Oh, no piece of right hand. Let's see. See the sharp wheels. Let's see what else you got over here. Let's see, there's an old tarpon shell. Turtle shell is really old because so it's white. Some old mason jar lids, it's porcelain lined. Probably from the 40s or 50s. There is actual little like Easter plants that my grandma had planted years and years and years ago, probably 50, 60 years ago, maybe longer. Hey, so what do you think about this, Ronnie? Pretty cool. It's interesting, isn't it? Interesting, yeah. Right up above here, right over there's the old home place. 
and the cave is kind of over in that area. We just found something. Another jar lid. <laughs> Maybe. What's that right there? I seen a lid right over there in that pile. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Another That's what's lid. all through here. Mason jar Here's lid. another one. Right, that's a rock. I bet that's lids what you were picking there. Check it with your pen pointer there. That's, I see it. Okay. Yeah, if that was it. Nothing else there. Okay. Not a lid. I'll take it. <laughs> not long ago, about day of Boone. I shirked everybody, but it's about day of Boone. Uh, they buried day of Boone in... Uh, Yeah, I seen it and they moved him. They yeah. found his family and everything. Him yeah. and his wife. Yeah, they buried him uh, far Oregon, I mean some of up north. And the Tucky wanted his body moved back to Tucky where he built Booty Bar or something like that. So what are we going to do if we see a bear? Spider. Hang on, shotgun. Come on, down and scream and holler and make as much noise as you yeah. can. We've had to shoot because a bear can climb a tree, no need to climb a tree. And, uh, you know what? <laughs> I can run a lot faster than a bear. You'll see me sprint <laughs> like an Olympic runner if I see one. Three lines of barbed wire going through the middle of this tree. Oh, yeah. And that's what you're picking up. Probably where my granddad and him had a fence. Yeah. So here's that bob wire Rhonda was talking about. Look at that growing right into this tree. Three pieces of it. It's amazing. My, just to think, my granddad put that there. So Rhonda just yelled and she had found something. And look at this old ceramic coated pan she found. We don't know if it's a piece of a bed pan or just a, I think that's just an old pan. We'll take it. <laughs> Guys, it looks like junk, but to me, this is part of my family's history from the 30s and 40s. Cool old jar, look at that. Just think my grandparents used that. This is an old oil filter out of a car from the 40s. You take this nut off right here, take this out, and there's a filter in there. So I think the next old antique car I build, I'm going to use that. And then here is an old, that pot I found up there. No good, but valuable to me. And a brick from the old home place, the Dollar House and Dollar Holler. Okay, so Rhonda just found something. Our battery's almost dead. Here it is. Okay. Try to hurry. What is that? It's stuck down in there. Oh, oh my Looky God. Looky there. This is a spike like you'd split wood with. Gotta be at That's least 70 awesome. years old. That's it. That's awesome. Now this is a rock that Ronnie used to set on 51 years, 51 years ago. And this is the first time he's been back. So shout out to Ronnie. Say hi to everybody there. Howdy. Love y'all. So 51 years later, Ronnie's back. And it's called Rock Bluff. Well, we made it back. There comes poor old Ronnie. Rhonda's way coming. I see her back there coming. Oh. We can patch it up, baby. We can patch it up, baby. Can patch it we have several samples of fabrics and top grain naga hides to choose from. So 
So come to the upholster shop and let us patch it up for you. Let Totally Eclipse work for you. 1506 South Side Avenue, Bristol, Tennessee. Today on the Matt Dollar Show, we're headed back out to Dollar Holler to film the second part of the show. And today on the show, we're going to go inside Dollar Cave. So sit tight and come with us. So here's what I've done. I've put a slip knot in there so it will do nothing but get tighter. Mm -hmm. I've got a hundred foot of rope and I'm getting ready to toss it down in the cave. <coughs> Probably on the far side over there, and then we will hook our hooks to it for safety. And here we go. Okay, now I am descending into Dollar Cave, and then I will get some footage of Rhonda. Very muddy right here. Yeah, we'll see, buddy. We'll see, please. Very deep down here too, let me tell you. That was down a few moons ago, but I mean it's cheap. That little piece of bark cell actually. Okay. There's a level out right below you. If you see right there, you can see that the cave flattens out. I try to zoom back out. There we go. All kinds of orbs down here. I guess these ghost hunting people would have a ball. <laughs> you know, the, the little round hole goes into a bigger room. You get that, you don't see a hole yet. Oh, not not yet. Here comes Rhonda. Let me get on down here. Just a second, hon. Okay? Yeah. Let me get to where it flattens out. <laughs> get to buy a GoPro. Oh, shit. Sliding. <laughs> this is crazy. Here she comes. I thought that'd be an easier way, but your feet just go. All right. It's hard to tell what's down here. This is crazy. You okay? Yeah. Got our lights here. There, that's this better. Is so beautiful. Dollar Cave. We're good, Ronnie. I can see Mac now. There's another way. Look, 1938. Let me see. 1938. Looky there. Mike. S-O-P-H. And point that date out again so I can see it. One. One. Nine. Three. Eight. 1938. There's some other writing that looks almost like dollar right there. O-L-L. There's all kinds of, it's all, all kinds etched of, in. Now, rumor has it two Cherokee Indians lived here. There's more writing. And here's some more. 
and it's riding all over these walls. Ricky there. Oh, look over here. That was me. On this side of all letters. Look where this know. water's running down here. Yeah, look here. All kinds of writing here. Hard to see. I'll try to photograph some of this too. Back in there is another cave goes back in there and I can hear water dripping back in there look right up in there Ron yes. Well, I think we found another opening. Hey, what, Rhonda, if you don't mind, will you hold this and film? Hold on. I want this flashlight. I want to see. I need to be able to okay. see you back here. Check this out real quick. You going in there? I just want to see. Like... Ronnie, keep your gun and stuff handy, okay? I don't believe I'd go back in there. There's those crickets all over the place that my daddy showed me last time. Cave crickets. Yeah. Look at this moss growing right here. That's a nest. Oh, huh. that wasn't cool. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now, yeah. here we go. Let Rhonda have the camera for a minute. Let me get my knife out. Oh, shoot, they want my case in my knife. I'm going to hook my knife. By the way, Sophia, thanks for letting Daddy borrow the backpack. Yes. Daddy loves you. Hope a bear don't get me. So here we go. Let's make my light as big as possible. Now right down there is that opening to that bigger room. That's a loose rock right there, so be real careful. Mm. Okay. Let me pause just for a second and turn the camera so we can see where we came from. Okay. A baby doll head, and it scared the crap out of us. As we seen it, all we saw was the hair. That's scary. That's a long way down. Yeah, it's real deep. So, lay down your handheld light here in a minute. I need to see what's around my head before I stick it in the hole. Wow. I'm going to try to put my phone up here. If I drop my phone and lose it, we'll just film with the other phone. <laughs> There's a rope. <laughs> On that tree. This video is not doing this justice at all. Is it, Rhonda? No, it's not. Be careful, hon. She's got mud on her pants. Okay. Let's see. Well, there's a... 
Can I have something to throw? Yes, let me, find, let me find you a rock or something. Here's a, here's a stick. Is that heavy enough? Maybe. It's that creepy dog head again. Pretty quick, right there. Yeah, I don't see me going down in there though. Do you? That's a little uh, scary. You know what I mean? That's for a different day. Maybe. So, Rhonda, look around here and tell everybody what you see. I see an opening to two rooms. I think I see the floor of one room, which is right in front of me. Um, I can't see the room to the right, but I, I know there's an opening leading down inside of it. Yeah, we're good. So here, you take the camera. Let me hold your pants and you film, okay? And I've got the light on on the camera, and it's recording right now. Sorry about the bad editing, guys, but we're in a situation. This is above my head. Millions of crickets. Yep, cave crickets. But it's all good. And I'm going to name these crickets. Dollar crickets. <laughs> There's an opening. It's actually bigger than what it looks. And then there's an opening down there. But until next time because this is a tight space. But there you have it. Dad, I love you, buddy. We try love to, you. Try to zoom in down there at that bottom hole. See if he can see any of that. You just kind of, there you go. Yeah, right down in there. That's where the ladder and the bed is. We'll find it. Well, right there's a log. Right there's the, one of the logs. See that log way in there? Yeah. It used to come up to right here. To climb up? Yes. And it's still there. Did you get a picture of the log? Does it land right yeah, down there? Yeah, there's a log right here. Yeah. It's actually a rope tied to it. Yeah, that's what you used to, to get boil down rope. in this cave. It leads down into that hole. And then that's where the big room is. That's how you climb down. You have to climb down a log. Or be Spider-Man. Or be Spider-Man. But until next time, guys. We made it out alive. We made it out alive. It was awesome. I can't wait to go and explore some more. We're definitely going back. Yes, for sure. So now we're going to go back to the old home place of Metal Detect. Here is the creepy doll head that we found inside of Dollar Cave. Man, we saw that. We thought somebody got killed in there or something. <laughs> but, you know, I had two ants, Goldie and Mildred, that lived up here. So, my dad and him was mean kids. So, they probably took her doll and throwed it down the cave or something. And we found it. <laughs> but again, there's Dollar Cave. Until next time. Well, we made it out of Dollar Holler alive and out of the cave back to civilization. And now we are headed back. And we just wanted to say thank you for watching. And be sure and subscribe to our channel, The Matt Dollar Show. And look for our show on local TV, on ARC TV. And we wanted to say bye. Bye. I'm on shut up.